You can't see them, of course, but a couple of thousand American sweepstake ticket holders are here in spirit, with a crowd of 75,000 for the Grand National. There are 32 starters in the four and a half mile grind, over 30 bush and water jumps, a killing course for both horse and rider. The winds are chilly and carry blasts of rain, sleet, and snow at times, but no true British racing fan pays attention to that. Springbok is the first casualty at the very first fence. There are 15 of these hazards on the course, and each must be conquered twice on the two circles of the Aintree track. The weather has the turf in a mushy condition, and wreckers are the only thing that won't fall today. Water jumps, including notorious Beaches Brook, are a challenge to rider and mount, especially today when soft turf offers bad takeoffs. Every yard takes its toll, usually not more than half of the entrance finish, and today they go down one by one in a tangle of crashing hooks. Tired horses can't make it as they run the second circuit of the track. The field thins out, but some horses just won't give up. After the 30th and last jump, it's only 500 yards to the finish, but it must seem like a mile to the tired horses. Kilmore, 28 to 1, is heading for the wire first. A 12-year-old, he leads two other 12-year-olds to the finish. This was a year for the old-timers. Kilmore, winner of the richest Grand National in history, a sweepstakes killing with Kilmore. Kilmore.